role have mentors played in your career and who have been some of your mentors? I think that's a really good question. I've been really lucky. I know there, there are some folks who um, you know, would say, I don't think there's any one specific person. And, and when I think back on my life, I'm like, oh, thank goodness. I had so many incredible mentors that I feel, I, I really truly feel like influenced me in, in such incredible ways that, that I, I don't think there's any way I would have accomplished the things I accomplished without them. So it, a couple of thoughts on this. One, you know, I think teachers are great mentors. I had so many teachers starting in high school who, you know, I was sort of like, well, am I going to go to college? I don't know. You know, you're, you're kind of 18 and don't know exactly what you're doing. And I don't think college was necessarily an expectation for me and my family. But I had teachers who were like, you are absolutely going to college. You know, let's look at some different schools. Here are some programs you might like. I'll write you a letter of recommendation. And so I think they really supported me through that. And then when I got to college, again, I always have my eye out, I think, for people who I just think are incredible people doing good in the world, making an impact. So I had, when I was a freshman, there were a couple of seniors uh, at the University of Maryland who really impacted me. One was Jamila Hall, who I've now interviewed on my blog. Oh, she's the hey. first. Yeah, <laughs> she's awesome. She's the first uh, African-American female attorney for the Jones Day Atlanta, big international law office. Amazing. She just, it's, um, within moments of meeting her, you know, I was like, you, you were so interesting and magical. How do you do it? And she's also just an incredibly nice person. Um, just very balanced, very sharp analytically, um, you know, but has good relationships with people, super high achieving. So she influenced me. Uh, another leader I worked with on campus was James Bond. And put a name like that. <laughs> you have to be pretty incredible. But he just, he was someone who as a leader I felt like was so empowering to the people he worked with. And it just made me realize how important that is as a leader, not just to be focused on the goal, but also thinking about the role that people play. And then I did an internship in college, and this is, this is totally random how I met this mentor, but I'm still close with him. I did an internship in Washington, D.C., and my department said, you know, you need to go find a, a faculty member who will sort of be the sponsor. And so I randomly got on the website and was like, okay, Wayne McIntosh, it looks like he, you know, studies things that relate to this. I never met him, just dropped him an email. I was like, hey, you know, Professor McIntosh, my name's Danielle. You know, I have this internship, will you sponsor me? And he was like, absolutely. And we became really good friends. I ended up, after the internship finished, I took a graduate level class with him. That influenced me to decide to do a PhD. I thought maybe I was on like the law school or business track. Until then, he then was like, you have to go to grad school. He called different departments, put me in touch with people to talk with, to figure out, you know, where would be the right fit. Again, wrote me letters of recommendation. Got to grad school, had incredible mentors here. Stanford was great. Uh, one of them was Professor David Brady, who ended up being my chair. He is probably one of my longest standing mentors. He became such a good mentor. He and his wife, who's also fabulous, I would go to them with, you know, like even personal issues that were going on to be like, how would you handle this or what's your advice? Or when I had jobs where I needed to negotiate maybe for a pay raise or something like that. Um, so I think people like that just kind of, I, through through total happenstance, you know, I'd, I'd encounter them in a class or, or through an internship or having to, you know, work with them on something. And I think they recognize potential in me and really were proactive about providing support. But I will say, and maybe you've had this experience too, I also had experiences with mentors where I would just identify someone, you know, who I was like, you're amazing. And I would, I would make an effort. They had no idea who I was. And so I'd call them or email them and just say, Hey, I'm super interested in your work, for example, in education or technology. Can I take you out for coffee? And, and I don't know that they were necessarily like persistent about, you know, supporting me as a mentor, but I was like, I'm going to keep in touch with you. Don't you worry. Like I'll take care of it. And I think sometimes that that's, you know, you're lucky if you have people in your life like David Brady or Wayne McIntosh who kind of take you under their wing just naturally. And I think teachers maybe have an inclination to do that because, you know, that's the nature of their work. But I think if you don't have that, just go make it happen. <laughs> you know, find those great people.